This week in Nerf, we've got amazing mods everywhere. I'm Jangular, and this is your source for first party, third party, and community Nerf news. This is going to be a bit of a special episode, a bit different from normal episodes, in that this week we are focusing on mods. Mods created by the community, blasters that have been aesthetically modded, internally modded, what have you. Just a celebration of some amazing work that has been posted over the last week. Because there was just so much, I thought, you know what? I just want to share all of this. It's really cool. So let's uh, let's just get right into it, yeah? So our, our first, first piece of work comes to us from Emporium Wonders Co. or Tattoo Den on Reddit. And this is the Harbinger of Blight. Now, if you play CSGO, this may look familiar to you. And that's because it is inspired by the Galil Chatterbox skin. And this is just... It's just a really cool looking aesthetic paint job for a recon or a, a retaliator rather and it it, uh, it spoke to me because I'm a big CSGO player I love CS I've been playing it for years and years and years and so to see a skin uh, you know brought to life in a sense on a nerf blaster always makes me happy it's why we did the Asimov blaster a while back but uh, just the detail on this paint job is so nice it, it looks hand painted to me I didn't actually think to to confirm whether or not it was or if parts of it were because just the shading on this looks so nice and uh, it, it really adds that level of kind of grunge and grit to the blaster and wear and, and it just looks so much more detailed because of it because of that extra little bit that's gone into it. Uh, now I don't believe there's anything done internally on this blaster. I believe they are currently focusing on external or aesthetic mods, which is really cool. Um, I, I went and checked out their Etsy page and they have a 40k bolter from Warhammer. Uh, as someone who used to work at Games Workshop, I super dug that, really into it. Um, just their, their talent, it seems apparent. I'm looking forward to seeing what they come up with in the future. And this is, I believe, the first thing they've shared to the Nerf Reddit and the Nerf community, at least that I've seen, and uh, I, I'm, I'm pretty stoked about it. Like I said, that, that CSGO aesthetic along with the detail of the skull and of all the bits and areas around it and everything, it, it looks really nice. I dig it. Uh, I dig it. And the link to the Etsy will be down below as well with the original post now. Moving on, we've got something called the Mini Boomstick Mark V. And this comes to us from Nerf Ez. And uh, this was posted on Nerf Modder's Welcome. This is, I believe, their fifth version of their, uh, of their Mini Boomstick mod. Uh, I would assume by the V or 5. But this is a beast of a blaster. This is a Stampede, a Strife, and a Magnus all integrated together using the Stampede as the base blaster. Uh, and it has LEDs function, LED function built in and mod or, uh, wired in and everything. What I think is really cool is when it's fired, the LEDs will flash and flicker with the, I believe, the pusher going back and forth. I think it's synced up like that. I could be wrong, but that's what it looked like to me, which was super cool. Um, I also like that they went with the Strife side-loaded into the side of the blaster and it goes through the stampede to the strife on the opposite side and uh, they have the triggers it looks like built into the grip where the original flywheel trigger would be or rev trigger is i believe the new firing trigger and under that so with this finger would be the new rev trigger so you have three triggers on the blaster which may be a bit awkward but if it works it works that's awesome i thought it was really cool that he was able to put all of that into the grip uh the look in its own right is just super cool. It's definitely got an aggressive sci-fi look to it that's it's interesting, it's unique. And he went ahead and he designed and 3D printed a lot of the pieces on this blaster, which makes it even more unique, um, even more interesting and, and personalized to him. Uh, he also did some of the things like the Mega Dart holders on the side. He designed and printed those and, and put all that on there. So I think this is really cool. I also think you really, really cannot overstate how cool a modded stampede sounds. It is, it's just fantastic. It's one of the coolest sounds uh, to me in Nerf. So I totally dig that and appreciate that they went with a stampede and a strife for different kinds of uh, effect. 
So that is something cool. Of course, check that one out. Check out their Facebook page. Now, moving on, we have uh, something from another YouTuber. The next two actually from YouTubers. The first one is The Gaven, and that is from Coat Duck. This is one of the most fabulous blasters I have ever seen. It's an overhauled Raven. Uh, it's going to be meant for HVZ. And so since it's meant for HVZ, Coat Duck thought, why don't I make it... Why, why don't I play hard mode? Why don't I make my HVZ experience even more apparent? I want heads to turn when I walk into a, a room or pull a corner with this blaster. And I think she accomplished that. This blaster has LEDs throughout it. And she managed to code the LEDs through, uh, I don't know if it's Arduino, I can't remember exactly, but she managed to code the LEDs so that they fluctuate and, and change between all the colors of the rainbow. And it's smooth. It's really smooth and nice and pleasant. And then she revs. And then the cycling goes faster. And that's a really cool effect. And then she pulls the mag out of the blaster and it starts flashing red when she's changing mags. I'm just like, this is one of the coolest looking things I've seen in terms of how to use LEDs. Not only is it aesthetically pleasing when uh, you know, you're revving or you're just walking around with it, but it's also functionally useful or functionally interesting when you, uh, you know, pull a mag out. It changes and it flashes red like, oh, you don't have a mag in, you can't shoot this. Uh, so I think this is just a fantastic piece of work. The coding that went into it, I'm sure it took hours upon hours, um, but the effect is just, it's so cool. It's so cool. There's an entire video on it down below. That link will be below. So check that out. She talks about the, I believe the build experience and taking it to HVZ games and, and the theory behind why she did what she did. Uh, so that is certainly interesting. I found it interesting at least. Uh, now, next up, we have the Rust AK-47 from Walcom S7. This is probably the coolest uh, game inspired blaster mod I have ever seen. This thing, when you put it up next to the picture of the in game model, is really impressive. It kind of blew my mind when he was sharing pictures with me of, of what he was going for and the, the end result. It just, it, it, it's fantastic. I mean, the amount of body work, he removed so much of the strife uh, that. It's, it's mostly 3D printed parts that he designed and modeled and or, or found, I believe, in the case of the shovel handle in the back. But I think he did a lot of design work for the other parts as well. And it just looks really, really good. Or rather, I believe he found the model, but then had to change the model inside or internally so that he could actually fit stuff inside of it rather than it being just a solid piece. So he had to alter and kind of figure out how to change all of these designs to make it work for his purposes, which is super interesting and I'm sure very time consuming. But I, I just, I just look, at the, I look at the blaster next to the model of the game and I just keep thinking that's so impressive. That is so cool. I, uh, I love it and it performs well to boot. So even better when you get something that is aesthetically awesome and has game worthy performance. It's like the best of both worlds. So that is really cool. And I definitely, definitely think you should check that out. Now there is one more blaster that I unfortunately did not get a chance to get in contact with. And that is, is Johnson Arms. I didn't get a chance to get in contact with him to ask if I could use the images. So there's gonna be no images, but there is a link down below. It is a Flip Fury paint job. And if you haven't seen Johnson Arms works, it's fantastic. The man is very talented with, with paint. So go check that one out. It's, it's super cool. I, I'm sorry I can't share it with you, but I don't want to use someone's work without permission. So please go check that out. Check out all of the blasters we talked about today because my goodness, they're all amazing in their own ways. And I just love it. I love that there's so much creativity in this community and so much talent it amazes me. Every single week, I'm amazed at the quality of work that people come out with and share with all of us. And it just, it, it continues to grow the hobby and grow the community and bring in more people because people see this amazing work and think, wow, that's really cool. I want to know more about that. Uh, so if you're, if you're a modder, if you're a creator, keep doing what you're doing. I appreciate every bit of it. And there's so many more people that do as well. It, it's an amazing thing, not only to build for yourself, but 
to see the people that appreciate the quality of work that so many people do in this community. Now, we're not going to end just here. Uh, I do have a video of the week. It is not a mod. I know the theme was mods of the week, but this video, I, uh, I was so excited about it. And they are using modded blasters, so yeah, we're, we're going we're to say that works. But this is a video from Hat, who uh, we actually featured a while back on the channel when he posted one of his gameplay videos. This is Quick Flag. This is a game type that was put together on it by Mintu over in Singapore. And this is a 5v5 competitive style and uh, I fell in love with it. I, if you've been watching the channel and you know, you know me, you know that I love competition, I love team sports, I love uh, gameplay, I love all those things and this, this puts it together. It's basically a video of the first test tournament that they did and all the gameplay from not only his point of view but he also has some third person point of view of uh, off of the break when each round starts because it's kind of like uh, like paintball. If you watch competitive paintball where they start and they see they can see each other and they off the break, they shoot and they run to cover. It's kind of like that and it, it's their own take on it which is super interesting and uh, I really, really love that competitive team focused nerfing is starting to grow and evolve around the world really we're seeing it in singapore we're seeing it in uh, australia seeing it here we're trying to get it working over here so it, it's happening all over and i love that as a team sports oriented person it makes me really happy so please go check that out go show them some love because what they're doing is absolutely fantastic and that goes for every single thing we've talked about today click the links below check them out because their work it's phenomenal it's fantastic and it, it makes me really happy to be a part of this community and this hobby so uh, with that said we're gonna be at the end of the video now if you want to see the video of the week that's gonna be right here now like i said go check everything out let me know what your favorite mod from this week was or is there something i didn't even get to that that uh, you think should have been on here please let me know i love hearing from all of you and if you're new to the channel and enjoyed this video feel free to hit that subscribe button for more in the future and as always thank you so much for watching i'm jangular and I'll see you next time.